In this video, we're just going to neutralize acid with the base. The acid, which is in here, we have about 50 milliliters. You never use this side to, if you're going to use this, these numbers, 50. I know most of you guys realize that, but trust me, I deal with students who don't. They'll look at this and say 250, and they'll say it's 250 when it's over here. The base is going to force to be sodium bicarbonate. This is sulfuric acid. Usually, if you, if you have like hydrochloric acid, the base that I mean, you should use, I mean, I recommend anyways, it's sodium hydroxide, simply because when you combine them, you get salt and water. The reason why you have to neutralize your acids and bases is that you cannot pour bases and acids down the drain. As long as it's neutralized, you, most of them you can. But let's see what happens when you add sodium bicarbonate with sulfuric acid. How many people know what that gas that's being uh, released is? I'm sure most of you guys know if you're watching this. Also, you'll notice if you do this type of experiment, and you can probably tell because you see some liquid on the side, and of course it's getting warm because it's releasing heat. So if it releases heat, is it exothermic or endothermic? Think about that. If it's endothermic, it means it's, it's absorbing heat. Exothermic means it gives off heat. Of course, I'm not going to add more sodium bicarbonate, but that's basically how you would do this. You can't just pour, as I said, you just cannot pour your acids and bases down the drain. It's just not the smartest thing you can do. You've got to neutralize. Everything should be around pH, roughly around 7 first. So it'll be safer. You don't want to dissolve your pipes or, you know, piss off the EPA or OSHA. And also you don't want to cause your business or your college a lot of money when they have to replace those pipes. But this is basically what's going to happen when you combine the two. You see there's still some sodium bicarbonate in there. That means that the sulfuric acid is pretty much neutralized. Thanks. Feel free to like, subscribe, feel free to comment. Thanks.